Okay. That's a lot better than doing it by hand. Surprisingly, two people can probably unload it in the same amount of time, but it's not as organized. Yes. After this, go ahead and move a stack of nine over here, and I'll put those in the middle. And how are you planning on doing this? And it does need to be behind that that bar. Huh? It, it needs to be behind the bar, not not in front. Um, tilt forward a lot to get the back end to stick and then you can pull pull it out You're good. Just start lifting up because it's you're, you're bending the trailer now. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so we have a little block island over here. Okay, so we have some blocks right here, and 
I have two, kind of two rows of those. Now we have, let's see, what are these? These are our heavy duty blocks. And then those are our lighter duty blocks. And this is our tower of 54 by 43 block. It's the only odd size that we sell right now. And those are 84 pounds per pallet. They are exceptionally heavy. They actually make the chep pallets feel light. So this was our material, original material area, and then we decided to move it to the other side of everything. So and then it's a lot closer to our repair area, which is gonna have a dismantler at some point in time. But not right now. So this is the end of the pile that needs to be repaired and to be sorted. Woo! Sounds like finally got the forks out. So n n I need a stack of twelve. So, sorry, it's not nine. It it's twelve. Um, so make a pad in the middle. Yeah. Uh, if you want to do those nine and put them on the other three. And just set them in the middle of the back. Tilt back. Yeah, there you go. That's it. The last time I did this, I just about lost my phone. We got some good news. We now have a have some more progress on on the litigation. So that's good. Seventeen fourteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then if you move those three on top, you'll have 14 for your, okay.
Hey Lance, I'm gonna do another action shot. Just lift up and go back. Don't go forward. You need to come toward me to get it off the front stack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's good. Yeah. So on the trailer, we can this this seam right here can be like right back here and still be okay on the weight and balance in terms of it trying to weave. So all of this can be scooted back a lot more. That's why I have some space in between all of them, okay. and and I'm, I'm not trying to get them all tight right now. So right here's the, where this brake is, is going to be the CG of the payload, and that's over the front tire, so that means it'll be favoring the tongue, and that'll be a, a great load um, in terms of having the trailer not weave. Whenever it gets back here toward the center, then the dynamic pressure from the the wind hitting the front pallets pushes your center of pressure further back and then it starts thinking that it's tail heavy and then the trailer starts weaving on you and that's that that's no fun on that's just, just dangerous so we like it to be tongue heavy but all that has to be in moderation because bumper pull and 06 tundra but at least now we have a, a real bumper. So we spent the last eight days at my stepfather's place uh, fabricating this whole thing. So this is eight inch channel iron uh, bolted to the side of the frame and the side of the receiver. So everything joins forces in transferring its force to the frame. The receiver only mounts to the bottom of the frame of the frame C channels and that pulls the tabs, that little tiny lip down and it's just, it's bad. We had to do lots of repair on that and then we put a four inch piece of channel between the frame and welded it in so that they move more as one unit instead of separately.
like we're one shy. And the forks on this rental are bent. So one hits before the other does. There we go. That's touching the other side. Yeah. That's good. And then we need one more on top for some reason. New porta potty. We like that out here. And I'm sure there's some HR requirements saying that you have to have facilities in a, in a reasonable distance of a working area. As owners, we don't really care. We're not going to fire ourselves or file a complaint. But our employees need to be taken care of.